Good day everyone, World Money Wins here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I got a bit of a bigger box to unbox. So I need to move to the floor. I got this from Hero Bullion. And we will use the CRKT Inara. I just did a bad flick. I should restart this video over. There we go. This is a unique style. It's got like a distressed finish on it. But the cool thing with these uh, flippers is a lot of people will try and push them out to flip them open. You want to push upward and it'll just flip out. Super cool. This, these things are cheap too. I can't remember how much these are, like 39 bucks. And it's a super cool for everyday carry type of knife. You don't have to worry about it losing it or whatever because it's cheap if you lose it just buy another one i've got bench made knives that cost like 400 bucks and after you lose one of those you don't really want to carry them that much anymore let's see what got going on and yeah i gotta do with the the peak to make sure there's no there's got to be a i'll just do it over here where's the packing slip Anyway, first thing I got, empty RCM bar, 10 ounce monster box. Bam. So I've been trying to think of better ways to store uh, my stuff because it, lately it's been getting a little cluttered. And so I, I got this just to store 10 ounce bars in random stuff and then and who knows maybe I'll do a RCM 10 ounce bar monster box challenge I don't know how many fit in here 50 holy cow yeah that'll be uh, that would be a hell of a challenge <laughs> to get 50 of those bars and the other thing I got is a Perth mint I gotta take a peek inside. I suspect that they put the uh, packing list, packing sheet in here. Whoa, they didn't break the seal over here. That's interesting. So this is kind of a cool monster box. Let me see if I can do this. Get it open, I can. What else did I get? Oh yeah, since I've got some vintage bars, I, I bought a dragon bar tube, an empty tube for the uh, uh, Perth Mint dragon bar coin things. I really like them. I don't have a ton of them. I've only got a couple of the uh, dragon bars, but I figured I'd see what other bars fit in here. I know the dragon bars seem to be a little bit narrower um, so I'm going to see if the vintage bars I got will fit in there because I've got some cool uh, national vintage bars that I unboxed on the channel. And then the last thing I got, so this is handy for storing odds and ends and uh, bullion. Then you just put all this in the safe and then I can't just order plastic stuff when you order from Hero Billing. You got to order some metal as well. I wish they didn't, uh, seal this that way. So I pulled it out. There was a, a packing slip and inside was this. What the heck is it? I forgot what I ordered already. Uh, 20 franc. This is the Napoleon. Okay. Now I remember this is the 20 franc coin, uh, Napoleon. And so we'll see what kind of condition this thing's in. It wasn't that cheap. I can't remember how much it was. This one's not in spectacular shape. So, hmm. Well, I guess for Napoleon, let me sit down, geez. All right. How do I hold this thing? There we go. Focus. Uh, 
I like it. I didn't have a Napoleon. This side, it looks like this side has quite a bit of wear. What year is this? I gotta. Looks like 1859. Let's see if we can see it on this better. Focus. There we go. I guess it doesn't seem like it's got that much wear. I, it's just dirty, I guess. So do you guys collect the 20 franc gold coins from Europe? It's kind of cool. It's almost like it's the... Uh, Huh. Almost like the first world currency there was, because you can get 20 franc gold coins from France um, and other countries. And they were all the same size and weight. They just had different pictures on it. So this is like the first euro, before the euro. Got Emperor Napoleon. So I wanted it because it's a, like a major historical figure. Napoleon, so I had to get one. Heard about him, and I read about him in a couple of history books back in the old days. So that's the only medal I got from Hero, but the rest I got storage containers. Got the uh, Perth Mint Monster Box, and their Monster Boxes for the Kangaroos hold 250 coins. And then I got the Royal Canadian Mint 10 ounce bar Monster Box. So this is going to give me some more storage options so my stuff isn't as haphazard. I'll probably put like um, individual rounds and stuff like that in this thing, and then I'll probably put silver bars in that because I've got, I've got those cool 20-ounce Keizu bullion bars that I need to put away <clears throat> so they don't get dinged up because they're that, they're that nice looking. So we'll see if those fit in here. And I'll see how many, uh, see how many bars I can get in here. Obviously, I can get 50 if they're all Royal Canadian Mint size. But anyway, I guess that's it. That's it for today. I'm going to go put this gold away someplace safe and then uh, see what I can fit in these boxes. That will give me a project for organizing my stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And I will see you in the next video.